The Persian is North America's, if not the world's, most popular pedigreed cat. They originally gained popularity during the Victorian era, but they had been around for a long time before that. However, nothing is known about their early life. The majority of people have a mental image of a white Persian, however the Persian comes in a variety of vibrant hues and patterns. As a Persian cat owner, there are things you must avoid doing in order to give your feline the best, and in this video, we bring to you 5 things you must never do to your Persian cat. But first, if you love our content, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. Not keeping track of their eating habits. Persian cats are prone to obesity which can also have an impact on their health. Watching what they eat is the best way to prevent this and help your Persian stay at a healthy weight. Try not to go all in when feeding them and when giving them treats, instead, give it to them in moderation. Leaving food in their bowl all the time isn't really a good idea, but instead following a feeding schedule will work best for you and your Persian cat. 2. Never leave them with children without supervision. Persians are generally not the ideal choice if you have a house full of loud, energetic younger children. Quieter youngsters, on the other hand, may be consistent, close, and loving friends if the cat is given its own area and is not manhandled. Since this might be a hard thing to achieve in a house full of children, close supervision is required when your Persian is with the kids. 3. Never leave them outside unsupervised. Keeping a Persian as an indoor-only cat is a good idea. They are not brawlers and would struggle against other cats, dogs, coyotes, and the various threats that cats encounter when they venture outside. The Persian's coat isn't designed to shed dirt, leaves, or stickers. Allowing a Persian to go outside just means spending extra time grooming the cat. Outdoor Persians are also at risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a lovely cat without having to pay for it. But if you'd still prefer to let your cat go outside from time to time, it should be done under your supervision. 4. Never leave them without vet visits. Both pedigreed and mixed breed cats have different levels of health issues that might be inherited. Persians, despite their beauty and sweetness, are prone to a number of health issues, the most prevalent of which is connected to their face shape. Not taking them to the vet for regular health checkups just because your Persian seems fine can cause serious issues for both you and your cat. No matter how healthy your cat is when you first bring them home, you should be prepared for any problems that may arise. Take them to the vet regularly so you can stay updated on your feline's health. 5. Never leave them without grooming. The most essential thing to remember while caring for a Persian is that it must be groomed on a daily basis. That long, lovely coat doesn't keep itself clean and tangle-free. Every day, it should be combed and brushed lightly but completely, and it should be bathed at least once a month. There's no denying it, a Persian cat requires a lot of attention. Daily grooming with a stainless steel comb is required to eliminate mats, tangles, and stray hair from the coat. Mats and tangles may be uncomfortable for a cat, and loose hair can get all over your clothing and furnishings, so it's easy to understand why taking the time to groom the coat is worthwhile. The bottom line is, it takes time to care for a Persian cat, and you must be dedicated to their upkeep. But in exchange, you'll get a loyal companion and a gorgeous cat that'll bring a lot of joy into your life. So, are you a Persian cat owner? What is your Persian like? Please leave a comment below.